Hi everyone, welcome back to the Movie Reviewers 100. My name is Scott, also known as Cineram. And this week's theme, like last week's theme, Sissy Spacek, was requested by an individual who goes by the name Itachi Uchiha. Um, I have a feeling that's not actually this person's real name, but hey, it's not like my real name is Cineram. It's a completely made up word. Um, Piper Laurie is our theme this week. We've had a couple of reviews already from people uh, doing Piper Laurie films, uh, notably The Hustler, which Ray did, a uh, classic Paul Newman, Jackie Gleason film, um, which I saw a long time ago, but don't actually remember Piper Laurie being it. But apparently her role in that is fairly uh, important. Um, I selected a film called The Crossing Guard. What I did basically was I looked on her IMDb page, and I saw it there, and I thought, oh, I saw that years ago, really liked it should see it again. Um, but it, unfortunately, the film itself is not a great selection for this theme because although she gets fifth billing in the credits, she's only in two scenes. There are a bunch of other people that have much more prominent roles than her. Um, Piper Laurie plays the mother of David Morse, um, who's one of my favorite actors. Uh, I just love him. He's terrific. <clears throat> he uh, just got released from prison after serving um, a six-year sentence for manslaughter. Uh, he was a drunk driver, and he ran down um, a elementary school age girl, and she died. Um, and uh, now he's been released from prison, and the girl's father, played by Jack Nicholson, has promised the girl's mother, played by Angelica Houston, that he will hunt this guy down and kill him. Um, the movie was uh, written and directed by Sean Penn. It was his second film as a director. Before that, prior to this, he'd done a film called The Indian Runner, also starring David Morse. And then, of course, he went on to do The Pledge, also with Jack Nicholson, and most recently Into the Wild with Emil Hirsch. Um, my favorite Sean Penn film is The Pledge, uh, which came out in 2001. I thought it was the best movie that I saw that year. Um, but I like this movie quite a bit as well. It came out in the mid-90s, 95. Um, I didn't see it in the theater. I saw it on cassette, but I was pretty impressed by it. Um, some people will probably find this movie a little slow-moving, um, and I would... Uh, agree that it takes its time telling the story, um, but uh, isn't um, uh, boring at all, really. It's, it's very compelling. And um, there's a strong sense of grief and sadness through this because Jack Nicholson and the rest of his family, he actually is divorced from Angelica Houston's character, um, and they had twin sons besides the uh, daughter. Um, but she is raising uh, her boys... Uh, on her own with her new husband, and Jack Nicholson's kind of out of the picture. He um, spends a lot of time with his friends, hanging out at a strip bar, drinking, does a lot of drinking and smoking, uh, and hanging out with women, you know, uh, in a non-serious way. Um, he uh, owns a jewelry store, which is, you know, doing all right, I guess, but he really doesn't have much in his life other than his drinking and his... Um, uh, obsessing over the fact that this man killed his little girl. Um, so when he, he's been crossing off the days in the calendar waiting for David Morse to be released, and when he finally does, he basically jumps him in the trailer that he's living, but he forgot to load his pistol. <laughs> and though he, you know, tries to keep pointing the gun at him and threatening him, um, David Morse knows, obviously, that there isn't anything that he can do uh, to, uh, to harm him. So he says, you know, anytime you want to come back and finish what you came here to do, it's fine with me. I don't really feel like I deserve to live. And this, of course, takes Jack Nicholson by surprise. So he tries to act tough about it. He says, you know what, I'll give you three days. Three days I'll give you and then I'm coming back. And David Morse is like, okay, I'll be here. I'll be waiting for you. Um, in the meantime... Uh, he's uh, welcomed home, of course, by his parents, who've set up the trailer next to their house for him to live in. Um, like I said, his mother's played by Piper Laurie. And um, there's a scene in which he, um, David Morse, talks about the fact that he not only hurt uh, the family of the girl that he killed, but also his own family by committing this crime, by acting carelessly and driving drunk uh, and um, going away to prison. And Piper Laurie's mother and his father say to him, you know, you know, I know, I know it's been a bad time, but no matter what it is that you've been through, no matter what it is that you've done, the mistakes that you've made, you're still our son and we love you. And there's some nice few scenes between the two of them, but unfortunately not a lot of Piper Laurie in this movie, if that's what you're looking for. Um, we've had reviews, of course, of Carrie, um, which is uh, probably what inspired this theme. Um, Al did one last week for Sissy Spacek Week, uh, and... Uh, 
And I think that uh, James said he was going to do one this week. I'm not sure if he has yet or not. I haven't seen it. Um, but next week our theme is going to be Brian De Palma, uh, who is the director of Carrie. Um, and Brian De Palma, of course, is a fun director, so that'll be interesting in those videos. I just wanted to mention that um, the new theme starts tomorrow. Al will start the week with uh, you know, his, uh, the first of several Brian De Palma videos. But a week from tomorrow, we're going to do a special tribute week to Paul Walker, who, as you probably already know, died in a car crash uh, last Sunday, um, which was December 1st. Um, so uh, we'll have uh, videos on his films as well, um, as well as, you know, any other, uh, other themes. I just wanted to mention that um, this, uh, these themes were requested by uh, Itachi Uchiha um, quite a while ago. Um, but uh, we, are, uh, we are only just now getting around to them. But we are still, uh, of course, uh, welcoming any uh, suggestions for themes uh, in the future. If uh, there's a particular actor, actress... Um, uh, or director, or genre, or some other type of film that you'd like us to focus on for a week, please let us know. Um, if you're watching this on our Facebook page, uh, you can comment. Um, if you're watching this on YouTube, um, the link to our Facebook page is below. It really is the best place um, to comment. Give us feedback and suggestions, things like that. Um, thank you very much for watching. Uh, I hope you uh, take a look at The Crossing Guard. It's an unusual uh, kind of low-key film, um, but if you're into that type of thing, I think you'd like it a lot. It certainly has some of the uh, best, uh, better work uh, from Jack Nicholson later years, not the kind where he's overly uh, comical or uh, just uh, overly crazy. You know, it's a, a more serious and subdued type of performance from him. And of course, David Morris is an actor I've liked for a very, very long time. There's, I've never seen a bad performance from him. Every single, he's sort of a soft-spoken character, although he's very tall and kind of physically imposing. Um, uh, he's always sort of got a sort of gentle nature about him. And he always seems to be uh, one of those guys that uh, never has an, an inauthentic moment, always very genu genuine and naturalistic in his performances. So it's a great movie just for the acting alone. Uh, so we'll see you next time. Thanks very much for watching uh, and uh, appreciate it. Bye.